Hello, it's Zumi again, and this time we're going to do EX Hydroon. So first up in my team is going to be Fula. Alright, second is going to be Forsetti. Third is OG Mechafist Sif. Fourth is Poel. And last is going to be again Eve Raspy. All right, here we go. All right, so um, Awakened EX Hydroon is in the melee row, is beast and is grounded. Um, his action skill Catastrophe does 140% dark attack damage and blind for three turns to the nearest enemy row. Blind applies to humans, Yotuns, and beast. His auto skill does dark attack three times and shadow bound and pit chain to all heroes in the connect battle. Also frenzy to self. Um, Shadowbound and Pit Chain applies to humans, elves, and Yotan, and the attack also ignores shields. It also applies um, Abyss Veil Chaos to all of its allies. So the same as with um, Vidofnir, what this does is it, it increases the damage they do and greatly re increases their dark resistance. And if you hit them with anything other than light and neutral damage, then they're going to counterattack you. So, yeah, you're only going to want to use light and neutral for this fight. And on to the... First is the armor, which does attack and magic attack barrier to self. Also does dark attack five times to all heroes in the connect battle. Um, and stone skin to all of its allies. The barrier is applied on the second HP, second and third HP gauge bar, and the attack also ignores shields. And the barrier lasts for three turns or 20% of its max HP. And the chaos bird does dark attack and skill gauge down to the farthest enemy row. Also, light resistance up to Hydroon. So, yeah, you're going to want to get rid of him. That skill gauge down is really going to hurt, as well as buffing its light resistance, since light is really the only thing you can do to it other than neutral. So, definitely get rid of the armor and the bird pretty quickly. It'll make the fight a lot easier. <clears throat> Alright, so some other heroes you can use are going to be um, Awakened Vili works really well. Um, Angelic Hell, if you were lucky enough to get her. Um, Envy Scion, Misato. Uh, Izanagi can work. Sorticia, as always, either one. Um, let's see. Vindicator Seraphel would probably work really well, too. As well as you could prob might be able to use oh, um, Awakened Jormungand because he has the... Um, the uh, the, the passive if you fully awaken him to be able to uh, do the veil abyss veil yeah so all in all I would rate this fight as being one of the harder EX ones um, it's going to be very rough to do it without Fula unless you were um, really lucky with RNG pretty much um, and even with Fula it's still rough like Eve Raspy is what makes it doable for me. But the thing about the fight is, is using Fula, um, you're really only going to be able to take advantage of her when all the other characters in your party are health is below 50%. Which makes the fight kind of dangerous because then you can die really easy because Hydroon has Frenzy. So it's, it's, it's a balance. You've got to keep your health low, but low enough but your skill gauge high enough so then Fula will be able to cover you and do counter attack light damage to Hydroon which is um, the really best way to damage him now I'm not sure about auto auto in this fight maybe if I had Sorticia it might work but it's a, it's a tough one
All right, almost, almost done here. There we go. All right, now we can check and see how much damage each person did and see who did the most. All right, here we go, and thank you for watching.